I've always wondered what goes on in St. Paul behind closed doors when the Republicans hold their caucus meetings. You know, the imagination runs wild. Of course, I've also wondered what goes on in the ladies' room in fancy Broadway theaters. Are there eunuchs back there with fans? Are they handing out chocolates? Are there jacuzzis? All this kind of stuff. You know, the mind goes wild. But what are the Republicans doing in St. Paul behind closed doors, especially this year with all these new right-wingers? Man, what goes on? Our associate Bill Sorum has the same question. Well, Bill got in. I had very few shots. So I was filming, I'm filming, and I'd back up and I'd turn around and run ahead and back up. And then I finally got to follow him into the parade ground. <laughs> when Bill showed me the footage, I was reminded of a George Romero zombie movie. There they were, slowly creeping up on Governor Dayton like Night of the Living Dead or Return of the Dead, those things. It was far more worse than I ever imagined. It was frightening. Bill turned his camera and saw this stuff. What was gonna happen? Get Aiden. Save the rich. No guns. 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 Don't tax the rich. Get all health care. The middle class sucks. And then his camera went black. Bill's a cagey kind of a guy. He did survive. He got out alive. It's my understanding that we have an agreement. And so did Governor Dayton. I'm no longer in the studio. That was a few days ago. I'm hiding out now. I've seen a few things. You've uh, seen them too. Those Tea Party rallies, those don't tax the rich marches. What if the uh, governor got bitten? got infected? <laughs> Probably not. He's true blue. I, I figure he's just waiting for the 2012 election. Waiting for us Democrats to sweep up the state. Are you in?